Hey, hey, welcome back. Wreckers this is Mark with Southern Custom CC. Apologize for the long hiatus, uh, but we're back now with something special. Uh, this is coming fresh off the press. Uh, these are going to be up for sale here in a, uh, another month or two, and I'm really excited. This is something everybody's been waiting for. Now, you all have seen the Minarelli uh, 49 cubic centimeter conversion kits. You can pick those up for 500 bucks just for the conversion pieces, you know, the spacer the cylinder, uh, the intake modify, and the exhaust flange. Well, here we're offering the full setup on the engine part. Uh, you're gonna wanna get the exhaust separately, you're gonna wanna get the intake separately. But this engine setup is gonna have everything from the head uh, to the body, to the cylinder, to the piston, to the um, intake and exhaust setup. But as you can see right off the bat, we're looking at a genuine Minarelli top. All right, this is not a 80cc top um, with the M8 stud hole spacing. This is the made specifically for the Minarellis. All right, and we're looking at a 40 millimeter square pattern. And these are the M6 stud holes. All right, these aren't the M8s. And yes, the engine is going to come with the M6 studs already pre-installed. Yeah, I've been really excited about these engines. Um, you know, people have been talking about these for years, trying to do them. Uh, you've used to have to do hours of Dremel work, a lot of JB weld. Uh, still, they wouldn't be sealed up and um, you know work optimally unless you were essentially almost a professional. Uh, you'd have to weld your own exhaust. Um, which we're going to fix in the future. These are going to be very attainable for the um, bicycle community without price gouging you. So moving on, we're going to go ahead and check out the packaged engine. As you can see, it's well wrapped. Um, we got a uh, foam protection around it. Open it up, we have the intake gaskets as well as the spark plug. Uh, this isn't the standard uh, 80cc spark plug size. This is the ZHC. Uh, it's just a little bit smaller. Uh, the gapping is going to be similar. And then of course we have the gaskets for the carburetor. Uh, now f in regards to the carburetor, you can fit on the PZ20. That's what it's designed for. And what you'll see in a moment is that the um, the, the intake is set up for the PZ bolt, direct bolt-on carburetor. Now you can adjust it uh, by slicing it and putting it on like a um, uh, you know, OKO carb, but this is set up for a direct bolt-on assembly of a carburetor. Uh, with the PZ20, that's what we're aiming for, but we're also gonna have a uh, specially made VM20 uh, that's gonna come along with these as an option, as an additional purchase. But opening this up, it's well packaged. Um, I'm gonna try not to bust the fins, you know, keep the um, uh, rusting to a minimum during shipping and storage. So there it is. It's a nice clean case. Already pre-installed cylinder, and it's. Once again, this is not a conversion, this is a hybrid. So most importantly, this is a hybrid. We didn't just swap one cylinder out for another cylinder and jerry-rig a spacer in order to have a functioning engine. What, uh, what has happened here is that we have integrated the 49.9 cubic centimeter Minrelli top uh, with the spacer on a uh, Olin 4440 engine case. All right, so there's a 47 millimeter piston in there. It is windowed. Uh, the setup has the CNC manufactured spacer. Has the exhaust gasket. It's gonna be bolt on. Once again, the flange is going to come with the um, muffler pre-welded on. So it's all gonna be an easy setup here in the future for you. I'm gonna make this very, very friendly as far as installation goes. Comes with the M8 studs, wide spacing, two cable magneto, which we'll check out here in a minute. You 
you have that wide spacing in there uh, for wide frames if you want to do a direct bolt on but I would definitely recommend the CNC engine mounts that's 40 part of the triple 40 setup uh, that those bases came with uh, but yeah we're going to uh, recommend the CNC front engine mount for these because of the power um, and the torque that these have on the back you have the intake which has the 48 millimeter spacing and it's made for the PZ20s uh, you can get in there and dremel just a little bit if you want to open that up a little bit but it's definitely not needed that is a reed valve back there M6 studs, very clean, definitely a little bit smaller in height. So let's take off this jug. Now you've probably seen this engine, which means you've probably also seen the price tag of close to 500 bucks just for the conversion like I said this is not a conversion okay this is a hybrid so inside you're going to have that 47 millimeter piston uh, it's going to have two rings on it it's also going to be windowed uh, windowed piston double slot windowed piston uh, that's in effect for the reed valve uh, the transfer ports are going to be split and uh, be able to deliver quick breathability to the engine. Inside we have, uh, I mean, this thing's a beast. Inside we have the ZL 40 millimeter long rod uh, that's balanced as well, okay? It's not gonna be just the, the crank. It is gonna be balanced because once again, we're going for uh, performance here and we're going for reliability. We're trying to make this you know, this high power become user friendly because this, you know, we love motorized bikes. We love this sport. Um, you know, it's, it's a life essentially uh, riding and building. So this is definitely opening up the market to a lot more people. Checking out the piston. It's going to come out at 47. Once again, nice and clean. The mouth of the intake, we're looking at 21. 21 and a hair. See those transfer ports I was talking about? One up in front. Once again, that's where a lot of your power comes from, even with such a a uh, small cylinder. Very clean. Nice and sturdy, well built. Definitely not the thin alloy that the 80s have been coming with and the China dolls have been coming with. But looking at the piston, uh, it's the 47 millimeter, has the two rings. And off comes the CNC spacer you can see that it's rigged for the transfer ports yep has the ZL 40 millimeter once again, pre-balanced crank. You know, it's already drilled. It's pre-balanced for your performance desires. Uh, 
um, you know, furthermore, forget the crappy bearings that the China dolls have been coming with over the past 20 years. Um, this is stacked with the SKF bearings. All right, and for those of you who aren't familiar with the SKF bearings, well, all I can say is that they are considered the top name brand of bearings in the world. And they add dependability as well as reliability to a commonly considered unreliable place. So these are SKF bearings inside with a balanced crank. Alrighty, checking out under the clutch cover, we're going to see that it appears to be you know, a standard um, bottom end setup underneath the, of the uh, racing clutch pads. And beyond that, under that plate is actually an upgraded clutch spring. Um, it's a thicker, heavy clutch spring that supplies more stored K energy uh, to the clutch, clutch plate. This will uh, help prevent slippage and increase grip when engaging and it ensures a smooth transfer of energy. So that has been upgraded. On the flip side, magneto cover here, you're going to see we've done some upgrades as well. Right off the bat, you're going to notice the magneto. So this is a prime ohm magneto. It has a little bit more of an ohm uh, charge to it, and it's on two wires coming out. You know, I have to clip that white one. And the ma magnet itself is also a um, double plied performance upgrade. Um, it's double reinforced. With these together, you can be assured that you're going to get the electrical power needed to supply uh, your CDI. So that's an upgraded magneto as well as an upgraded magnet. You know, the piston is a little bit choppy up on top. But overall, this is what we have going on. So we look forward to it, and hopefully you'll come back and check us out when these are for sale late February. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, check out www.southerncustomcc.com. Hey, fly low and avoid the radar, everyone.